Hi, I'm Evan. Today I'm visiting a SMT factory and I want to show you how these products are made. Before mass production, all material numbers and the locations need to be checked one by one carefully. Then you put the PCB boards on the rack. SMT is a method of electronic assembly where components are mounted directly onto the surface of a printed circuit board. The SMT process involves several stages, each contributing to the successful assembly of a functional electronic device. Now we are doing solder paste application. Solder paste, a mixture of solder alloy particles and flux, is then applied to the PCB boards. This step is crucial for achieving proper solder joint formation. The solder paste is usually applied using one of the following methods. Screen printing, a stencil with openings corresponding to the pad location is placed over the PCB and the solder paste is forced through the openings using a squeegee. Solder paste jetting, a processing dispenser deposits small droplets of solder paste onto the pads using pneumatic or mechanical force. After the solder paste is applied, the components are precisely placed onto the PCB. This step involves the following sub-steps. Component fading. Components are fed from tape reels or trays using automatic pick and place machines. Vision system ensure accurate component alignment. Component alignment. The pick and place machine precisely align each component in the correct orientation and position on the PCB. Component placement. The machine deposits the components onto the solder paste, adhering them firmly to the PCB. Reflow soldering is a critical step in the SMT process flow where the solder paste is transformed into a solid, reliable joint. This step involves the following stages, preheat, melting, and cooling. Then it's about quality inspection and testing. First, trained operators visually inspect the PCB to detect any visible misaligned components or solder defects. Now this machine is quite different from the previous one. This one is mainly for the insertion parts.
then they will use AOI, Automated Optical Inspection Machine. A machine vision system scans the PCB for defects, comparing it with a reference image to detect any discrepancies. The next, the assembled PCB is tested to ensure that it meets the desired electrical and performance specifications. They will fix the defect parts manually and inspect again. Then it's about functional testing, cleaning, coating, and secondary assembly. Okay, that's today's share. See you next week.